All right, let's go. There they are. Come on. God, I gotta work on my cardio. Good to see you, Walker. I'm so Lee. Why, you fool? I'll have to kill you now. I rather liked you. What are you doing with Walker? Some insults have to be repaid with interest. As for being with Walker, that was not the plan. Not at all. Couldn't exactly refuse his offer. Hey, Mr. Okay. All is for the best, in the best of all possible worlds, right? What the hell is he talking about? Yes. Is that a TV show you watch together? Bye. Indeed it is. What about you, Walker? Any grim words to offer before we begin our pas de deux? Or more accurately, pas de quoi? You talk too much. I... I yield. I'd understand if you want to finish me off. I won't beg. I'll accept terms if you offer them, though. I can be an ally to you. Terms? How about you help us take down Bodine for starters? I'll talk to Walker, but I make no promises. Understood. I am at your mercy. Walker, he has a point. I sorta know the way to Arrow Canyon. I don't know know it. Could be useful to keep Sam along. Hmm? Yes? What do you think, man? He surrendered. Why don't we give him a chance? And there was three of us. We all got guns. He thought he was going to punch us to death. His dog didn't even help him. He's a thief and a murderer. He'll keep stealing and killing until someone puts him down. He'll never change, no matter how he spins it. We've managed our own so far. I'll give him a quick death. And that's being generous. He's a thief, not a trigger puller. He didn't kill anyone in Silver Springs. Give him a chance. He was... He was still part of it. Uh, yeah. You're right. God knows I'm paying for my mistakes. He can pay for his, too. All right, Sam. You'll guide us to Bodine and help us kill him. You do all that, keep your word, and you're free. You owe this courier your life. Thank you, Walker. I give you my word. You're a good man. For what it's worth, I'm sorry about what happened to Jessica. Wasn't right. Don't you say her Keep his wife's name out of your mouth. Not ever. You're on thin ice, mutant. Don't push it. Sam, I know you're a francophone, so let me put it to you in the language of King Louis. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> At least until Bodine is dead. Je comprends. Merci. Yo, do you know French? Yes. I mean, the rest of them, they all seem like they know French. This is it, the last man. Yeah. Gonna have to work for it, though. Long trip. Probably a real fight at the end. Lee can fill you in on the details. Yeah. We're finally down to Bodine. How did Walker know you? Again, youthful follies. I was incarcerated in the Silver Springs jail for a time. Forcefully incarcerated. Very forcefully. Stubborn bastard tracked me all the way to Valley Wells. That's why we came in from the Southwest. He's a determined man. I'll give him that. Alright, well, we're down to Bodine. Yeah. About him. Some distance from here. Won't be alone. Has a passel of gunmen, raiders, and other refuse at his shantytown. These rural inbred types always seem to congregate in the worst mountain hovels. I suspect his clan is no different. Arrow Canyon, that's the place. He intends to set himself up as another petty warlord between here and Coyote Springs. Means to raid the 93, I wager. I know, uh, the general area. I reckon we can find it without a hitch. Meet us up at the Northern Passage and we'll begin our grand expedition. See you guys there. You going with them, Pete, hmm? Yeah, there he goes. So, last minute, real quick. Yes? He's gonna kill you, dude. You should know Lee's planning to kill you once Bodine's dead. 
I figured as much. Little shit staring snake. That's what he is. I wish you would try it. Wipe that smarmy grin right off his rotten face. Keep up the act with him. Hell, boost his confidence. When he throws down, the two of us will make short work of him. Can't we all work together? Very well. Uh, I guess not. Yeah. Have you seen Sam? He's lurking around here somewhere. Probably picking cactus fruit. Wait, here he comes. Come on. You and your dog. Where have you been? Yes. Picking fruit? Hmm? What's with the coyote? Oh, Peter. My closest friend. I found him as a wandering, half-starved pup after his mother perished. Oh, he was a pitiful sight then. An unruly indigent wanted to eat him. I smashed his head with a rock and let Peter feast on his brains. I believe it enhanced his cognition. <laughs> He's utterly loyal and a good companion, though combat is not his forte. More of a spectator than participant. Good nose, though. How'd you get mixed up with Bodine? I enjoy stealing things. The challenge of remaining unseen, taking what I want, with none the wiser. It's indescribably gratifying. Bodine may look the mindless thug, but he's a shrewd organizer, and he pays well. He's also loyal, at least by criminal standards. He hired me for my expertise and honored the deal. Even paid a bonus. Fair man. Though he could be intemperate, sensitive to criticism. I suspect that's why he shot Walker's wife. God, what a battle axe. <laughs> Cursed the man in English and Spanish so badly that it made me blush. Some men would have ignored it. But Bodine, well, I estimate he viewed it as an affront to his delicate ego. Childish in hindsight. Walker's entitled to kill all the robbers, of course. I'll make no excuses. I was there. That's the life we chose, with its uncaring consequences. Who were some of the past employers you mentioned? Many of them are deceased or wandered away, reduced to myth. Take Robert, for example. Charming man, blessed with a green thumb. I worked for his organization sporadically. Made a good sum. They just... Collapsed one day. Rumors abound. Probably in fighting. That's the thing with these criminal groups. All the furtive conspiracies and profiteering can be undone in an instant when egos collide. I hear stories, though. The strangest is that Robert escaped the calamity and walked east, only to be enslaved. Terrible fate. I hope he's well. Any other employers of note? Tanya Dickman. Oh. Another member of Robert's organization. Vile harpy, that one. I'd rather gargle magma than be in a room with that witch. Gray, the mercenary. That was only one job. Hard man, but fair. No complaints. Mercenaries are overly maligned, I think. Everything else was far beyond the Mojave, and usually short term. I've forgotten most of them. Save the master. Impossible to forget. I have to ask, why Rubens? Surely you jest. <laughs> no? Very well. He was a master. Not just a master, but criminally underappreciated, unjustly maligned, due to his association with the Counter-Reformation, too. He captured the energy, the movement of life, all our passions, lust, hate, Raw menace, pumping through muscles. Life is not still. Take the massacre of the innocents. Bared breasts, bloody swords, dead babies, piles of dead babies. It's our beautiful, hideous reality. Yes, the world is a fine place and worth fighting for, but sometimes you have to step over dead babies. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the lesson. I mean, yeah, I don't want to step on them. How'd you get started as a safecracker? After the Master's demise, I was, well, lost. 
I wandered into a ghost town and found a pre-war bank with its vault intact. I became obsessed. It was the challenge. That's it. There's power in accessing something that's forbidden or sealed away. Many of them are time capsules. Soft hands are the key. You have to listen with your fingertips. My personal best is cracking a gruff utter in under five minutes. Oh, nice, Sam. Thanks for sharing. Bye. Bye, bye, indeed. All right, you truckers. Yeah. It's time to go. Ready to travel? A little walking never hurt anyone. Let's get moving. Arrow Canyon is a distant location north of the Mojave Wasteland. Food, ammo, and water may be scarce during your journey. This will be a one-way trip until your mission is complete. Do you wish to continue? Remain in the, in the Mojave Wasteland. Travel to Arrow Canyon. Campsite. Thanks to Sam's guidance, your party quickly reaches the outskirts of Arrow Canyon. Your traveling companions are well-rested and in high spirits. They should be in fine form for the coming fight. Before making your approach, you elect to camp in a narrow gorge some distance from the canyon entrance. This is an opportune moment to confer with the other party members before the final confrontation with Bodine. Get all those dialogue options out. Well, this is nice. Zippity doo da, zippity a. I'm, I'm gonna a... be rich tomorrow. A. <laughs> Got what you think? Decent chance we'll both be dead. Even if we do take out Bodine, you're getting a slice, nothing more. You're really gonna pack up those caps and haul them all the way back to Silver Springs? That's a fool's errand and you know it. I mean, holy shit. You may as well saddle up Rocinante and call me Sancho. It's madness, Walker. Pure farce. You can dress it up all you want. There's no romance or righteous justice here. We're killing a lot of people for some greasy caps. That's it. You know damn well I'm not doing this for the money. You might be, well, I suppose it's also your fragile ego. You're a lot like him. Both walking grenades with no fuse, no safety. One spark and you destroy everything around you. At least Bodine wore a charming mask. You? You're covered in death. It's all you have now, isn't it? I almost pity you. That might hurt if it came from a real criminal. You're a fraud, Lee. Bodine saw right through you. So do I. We'll find out tomorrow, won't we? Only one thing standing between me and that money walker. You. I, for one, think this would be a fine time for a ghost story. <laughs> Have you heard the tale of the talking dog? Oh, yeah. I ate it already. Fine. Tell your story. Yeah, yeah. Our story begins with a duster-clad adventurer mm. who wanders from town to town, assisting denizens of the wasteland. He is brave. He is noble. I like this one. He happens upon a village. An ominous cloud lingers over the poorly built shanties. The inhabitants are sickly and timid, saying nary a word. Even the children cast their eyes downward. All is silent. Save the shifting sheet metal and creaking wood. The adventurer is on guard. Let me guess. Good springs. Quiet. The adventurer nervously fondles his magnificent mustache. His hand is on his pistol, ready to draw. When a dog strolls into the square, the adventurer sighs in relief. He reaches to pet the beast but recoils when he hears a deep, otherworldly voice say, I have a secret. <gasps> Stunned, the adventurer blurts out, But you're a dog! The canine calmly replies, That's the secret. I talk. The adventurer's apprehension begins to melt away as he scans the dog. He is utterly normal, save his heterochromia. I don't know. Famous. And what? It's two eyes are a different color. Yes. Yeah, now shut up. The dog's eyes twitch with nervous energy. The adventurer begins to think he's found a new friend. He imagines the possibilities. A talking dog is a potent ally. Oh no. It is at this moment that he notices the dog's gaze 
is fixated on his groin. Oh no. The townspeople begin to crowd around the duo. They are chanting in a strange language. The dog licks his chops. Ugh. The adventurer shudders. He nervously sputters out. So, uh, what's your name? The chanting grows louder. Thunder erupts overhead. The sky turns red. <laughs> the dog grins and says, Balls. You want to know why? The adventurer's face is pallid. He is stiff with fear. Oh my god. Urine begins to pool around his feet. <laughs> he wills his quaking lips to form the words, Why? The dog inhales deeply. His eyes dance with excitement. The chants are now a deafening roar. And then? And then? Did you forget the rest of the story, dude? Hey! What happened? God. Thanks for giving me blue balls. Yes. Finish the famous story, dude. Why don't you finish your story? It's frightening Peter. He suffers from anxiety. I don't want to exacerbate his condition. Besides, it's a grisly tale, not fit for the young. I don't cover his ears, man. Fear can be instructive. Finish the story. I think we'd all like to hear the ending. Hmm. 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 I don't want Peter to run away. Alright. I can load back if he never tells it again. We'll finish it another time. On behalf of Peter, thank you. Sleep well. Okay, Peter. Oh, Bebe Peter. Sorry, I was scaring you, Peter. Yes? Well, not me, your friend. You, you got a good story. What now? We move at dawn. Reminds me of an operation I pulled out on Topaz Lake. We pushed out those raider scum with extreme prejudice. I'm not sure how much action you've seen, but it should be a serious fight. Bodings probably managed to build up a small army by this point. We'll move in quickly, clear the buildings one by one. He'll make his presence known soon enough. I reckon he'll have family with him. Family? Yeah, cousins and such. Oh. Scumbag family is spread all over creation. I know one will be here. Mean as a death claw, that one. Ramon will be the one to watch for. A demon with the rifle, by all accounts. If he's here, well, it'll be interesting. As for the rest, no idea. Those are the only two who are known to run with him on the regular. They're free to die with him, I suppose. Yeah, I'm cool with cousin killing. On the level, you think you can beat Bodine? Alone? It would be catch and go. Then in enough fights to know that luck is a factor. It's an uncomfortable truth, but that's the way it is. With you and Lee backing you up? Yes. Anything can happen, but I'd take those odds. Gonna be bloody no matter what. So there's no chance of talking our way in there? We just go in guns a blazing? Pretty much. Even if we could talk, I wouldn't. I want to make sure this place stays dead when we're done with Bodine. Let the buzzards have it. It's a moot point in the end. This isn't a town. It's an armed camp full of predators. Reckon they're keeping slaves, so... No mercy. With that said, use judgment. They're liable to be a few non-combatants running around. Don't be a maniac. Alright. Happens after all this. I'm not sure yet. I'll be returning the bulk of the money to Silver Springs, obviously. After that, haven't made up my mind. We've been working together for a while, so I wouldn't mind your input. Any thoughts? I think you should go back to being a lawman. I think you should seek out your daughter and make amends. You still have a fam. You seem to have a knack for hunting down bad guys. Might try bounty hunting. Mm. Lawman or daughter? Try daughter. You try daughter. Even if I swallow my pride and make the attempt, who's to say she'd want anything to do with me? Stubborn. Just like her mother. 
You won't know for sure until you meet her in person. Never give up on your family. Lord, this is going to be rough. Assuming we do make it through tomorrow. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll look her in the eyes and apologize. Eating a bullet sounds better than that. But I'll do it. God is my witness. I'll do it. Now let's get some sleep and pray we survive. All right. Yeah. How are you holding up? I'm drinking in the wild air, friend. I'm intoxicated by nature, truly. So long as it's not devilishly hot, I enjoy my time outdoors. It's a lot of caps. Could live the quiet life for a few decades. Been stuck in this loop of chems, debt, and outlaw shit for a long time. What do you think? Any chance that an old crook like me could get a clean slate? Are you pulling my leg or are you really asking for an opinion? Yes. For once I am putting aside the snark and chicanery. Yeah, chicanery. We've been watching each other's back for a while now. I sort of trust you. So how about it? You think I can live in civilization again? Be a tax-paying, do-good citizen? I never said anything about paying taxes. It's possible I'd recommend you leave the Mojave, though. You want to live free, right? Stick the life you know and stop second-guessing yourself. You should go back to the followers, like Ann said. Put this behind you and help others. Jesus, I wish that conversation with Ann never happened. Drenched up old feelings. Old memories I'd buried. Even if I did, it would be a slap in the face to all the... The truly good people like Anne. No, I can't. I can see myself retiring or starting over. But going back to the followers. Never gonna happen. I won't live a lie. I need a real option. I guess you could be a greeter. Uh, every saint starts as a sinner. I believe you can be a good man again, Lee. Educated. With your experience, you can impart knowledge and wisdom. That's a rare gift. Don't waste it. It's possible. I recommend you leave the Mojave. Yeah, impart knowledge. Educate the mind and the heart, huh? Kids, don't be a murdering shameless bag. <laughs> Something like that might prevent another Edward Sello. Yeah, talk to Ronaldo. Maybe. I need to sleep on this. You need to sleep too. All this speculation will be for naught if we die. Good night. Night, Lee. Sam, you got anything for me? Yes. No, not you, Walker. Very well. Sam. Although we did talk before. Yes. Thanks for not telling the rest of the story. What are you going to do after all this? I'll continue wandering with Peter at my side, still uh, recovering art when I find it. I'll be more selective about my employers, though. Glad to hear it. My time in Jacobstown has been brief, but I've enjoyed it immensely. I'd like to rest there in between my travels. Permit me to inquire. What will you do? Any grand schemes for a wanderer like yourself? Bounty hunting's always an option. I'm thinking of working as a merc for a spell. Probably just wander from job to job until things kick off at Hoover Dam. And what a battle it will be. I'd like to see it depicted with oil on canvas. In the style of... The Death of Decius Muse. Very appropriate. May fortune favor you in your endeavors. I for one believe you will stop the barbarian horde. Il ne passeront pas. What'd you say about my pa? Hey, Peter. Mm. Mm. Oh. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, time for resting. Because it's the first thing I bite. The dog says, in a flash, he rips off the adventurer's scrotum. Hey, man. A geyser of blood erupts. Uh, wait. The adventurer slumps over in shock and screams in agony. The townspeople dance and scream, Hail Satan! The adventurer perishes. The hellhound is sated, temporarily. They say he still walks the wastes, always searching for a fresh sacrifice. Only two items will satisfy him. A knife, preferably with blood on it. Or warm testicles, torn from a living body. Beware of strange dogs. Beware of balls. <laughs> the end. 
Good night, everyone. Sweet dreams. Night. I was hoping for something simple like the golden arm. But you had to conjure up images of Satan in canine form. Wait, what was that? Is that you? Peter, was that you? Please, for the love of God. Yeah. Tell me it was you, Peter. Yes. Alright, so if you reload, if you save here and then reload, he will tell the rest of the story. Ooh! I'm just gonna make some drugs. Oh, horse steak? Hell yeah. Night, y'all. Sweet dreams. Arrow Canyon. After a night of restless sleep, you stir before dawn and gather your belongings. You and your fellow travelers swiftly make your way through the gorge into Arrow Canyon. Walker peers over a nearby ridge with binoculars and then returns with a grim expression on his face. He reports that the site is occupied by a large number of well-armed raiders. You are in for a lengthy fight. Did you guys bring your night vision? Or is it just me? Yeah. Okay, good. Whew. A lot of bones on these trails. A lot of bones. So we going guns a blazing? Yes. Oh, okay, cool, great, awesome. How dark is it? It's pr pretty damn dark. Watch right. out! Rock and roll, people! Open up your worst nightmare. There are some slaves here, they said. Oh my god. I need some backup. Oh, thank you. Hey, you got him. This is my death corner. Oh my god. I think I'm out of a... Uh... Where's the captain? Yo! Get in here! Groovatron! Stop asking me. What, you never seen a skull through another skull inside of a corpse? God. Where the f*** did Lee go? Don't, don't, no, no, no. Alright. And one of you did mention a possible, I forgot what mod they said it was to get rid of those weird sayings. Um. Uh. You're oh! Who the f*** was she beating up? <laughs> There's Wilkes. All right, well, this is perfect. Oh, is God gonna judge me for this? Suck it down. Yeah, 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 you can complain about it to me later, Jesus. Oh, it's, um, I get it. It's that movie where she she do the thing and then she smashed the leg. Where's that beeping? Can't think of the name of the movie, but it is a movie. Okay, yeah, I know it was a book first, but <gasps> Steve's. 